Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm going to be doing a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June. It's going to be a general love reading, so it will not and cannot resonate with everyone watching. Uh, check out your sun, nope, check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for more messages because sometimes they can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. Spirit for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo, please, in regards to love, June 2020. For Virgo, please. For Virgo, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate the support. I am doing personal readings. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. Um, there's limited um, stock on the readings, so if you don't see a lot of readings, then you can check back on Sunday. I do usually the restocks on that day. Okay, this is way too many, but I'll take this one. And um, what else did I wanna say? I think that's it for Virgo. So far we got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Healing, family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I more see that, um, I don't actually think of parents at all when I see that card. I see it more as there's possibly a family unit involved in this connection in some way. So we'll see. Could also be that someone is dealing with issues regarding their family, their friends. Thank you. And then we got love yourself first. Okay. This could be a message for you, Virgo. Maybe that you uh, deserve better. Okay, let's get some. Actually, let me move this back a little bit more. Um, let's get some energy oracle cards out here. I link all of the cards that I use in the description box um, if they're available. For Virgo spirit, what do they need to know? June 2020, what does Virgo need to know in regards to love? June 2020, please. I can't believe it's already June. For Virgo. Okay. Victory. Success. What else for Virgo? Wow, Caring Connections, who got these two cards? Was it, it was either Libra or Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. They got those same two cards. Victory and Caring Connections. So I, I get, really get the sense that there's something here with like, um, there's, um, like a current between two people, between you and someone else. It's almost like you're you're coming together. That's what I'm feeling. So let's see what else we get. Angel of balance, beautiful. This reminds me a lot of the temperance card. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. So far, I am getting that you know, and temperance card, by the way, is also about coming together. It's about blending two things in harmony and being patient as you do it and using moderation as you blend these two things that typically don't go together and you're rewarded by all of your hard work and it comes together in harmony, if that makes sense. That's what temperance is all about. So again, I am getting the sense of something coming together here. We'll see what the tarot has to say. I'm using the Light Seers Tarot today for Virgo, please. In regards to love, June 2020. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? In regards to love, 
we do reversals on this channel. That means this whole spread could come out reverse. That's kind of how it works. I don't know which cards are going to come out. Otherwise, what would be the point of this channel? <laughs> Um, if you have an issue with reversals, this is not your channel. There's plenty of other channels here that don't do reversals. I was called to do the reversals, and so that's what I'm doing. So um, if you don't understand reversals, then I suggest you don't watch. But if you're okay with you know how messages come out and trust that Spirit is going to deliver the message they're meant to deliver, then stick around. All right, so let's see. For Virgo, what do we need to know, Spirit? For Virgo, what do we need to know? June 2020 in regards to love. What do we need to know? Okay, Knight of Wands reverse, what else? What do we need to know? And a reversal is not a bad card. It just is a different message. That's really all that it is. And sometimes, you know, that's the message we're meant to receive. So I don't have any problem with reversals, but I've been getting some comments and I think people are really worried. <laughs> what else for Virgo? The moon reversed. Pisces energy with the moon we got the Magician as well. What else for Virgo? Three of Wands reversed. Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant reversed. Taurus energy. I feel like this is the, this card, Healing Family Issues. Um, I feel like there has been something off balance here. Something that wasn't what it seemed clearly. Something that has come to light that's, that's been revealed in some way. Someone has had a realization about an idea or a situation that they find themselves in. And I feel like this person needs to bring something into balance is what I'm picturing here. Um, let's clarify and see. I'm gonna be clarifying today with the same deck. And someone's been manifesting, and I think whatever they're manifesting here has to do with someone that they feel a strong chemistry with, someone that they feel a strong bond with. And they want victory with this person. Now, I don't know if that's you, Virgo, manifesting a connection with someone, or someone that you've been dealing with or that knows of you manifesting a connection with you. And the reason that I don't think this is new love is because the chemistry card for me is very similar to the flirt card. And those cards to me symbolize someone you already know, that you know enough of them or you know of them enough to, to have, um, I'm sorry, not the flirt card, the playful card, I think it is. It's, it's basically a card where when I see it, I think these people have hung out before, you know? They know of each other. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's very hard to have a, an attraction, a magnetic attraction and true chemistry with someone you've never talked to. At least that's my belief. <laughs> so I really think you know this person. Whoever is manifesting, you know them. This Caring Connections card, this is someone you already feel a connection with. So let's see, what's this Knight of Wands reversed about? Knight of Wands reverse tends to be the card about an, a person who's not willing or ready or able to commit. They cannot be counted on. You can't rely on them because they don't have the resources or the will 
to do what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> to finish what they start so let's see tell me about this knight of wands reversed for virgo please spirit this is knight of wands reversed about for virgo okay so we got king of pentacles here taurus virgo capricorn energy what else can you tell me about this knight of wands reverse judgment hmm I'm getting a few messages but I want one more card one more card for Virgo the sun reversed so this is what I'm getting I'm getting this is somebody who at one point was not able to commit was not was not here for a long time was here for a good time this is someone who maybe was young reckless um, maybe they were impulsive um, didn't think things through but there's been judgment um, enough this person has made enough mistakes that they've grown into something more stable, more mature with the King of Pentacles. And they were blind to this for a while. They were blind to the fact that their own actions got them in trouble, that really they were the problem. That's what I'm hearing. Because the sun reversed to me, yes, it could symbolize unhappiness or sadness, but the sun also illuminates. Uh, the sun brightens everything. The sun uh, shows you things, you know, when the sun rises, you see everything. So when it's reversed, I see it as shadows, darkness, a lack of illumination, a lack of light. And so it's almost like this person couldn't see. And now they're ready to have a rebirth, a wake up call, a second chance here because they've they've learned from their karma i think this knight of wands reverse uh, got this king of pentacles in trouble at one point tell me about the magician tell me about this magician for virgo wheel of fortune reversed four of pentacles and the page of swords so someone's been watching this other person wanting to communicate but they're also holding back because the, the timing isn't right something with timing here with the wheel reversed either it's bad timing or they know if they were if they were to approach you or to communicate with you it would end up in like disaster like it wouldn't it wouldn't work out so they're holding back but even though they're holding back they're watching you seeing what you're up to maybe on social media keeping tabs on you Tell me about this moon reverse. The moon reverse, this is a shattered illusion. This is a revelation, seeing something clearly. Again, it's almost like that sun reversed. We got the emperor reversed and the seven of swords reversed, definitely. Something came to light, someone got caught doing something And they've lost control because of that. Tell me more about the moon. Now, this could be something that you, Virgo, caught someone else doing or your person, the person you're thinking about, they caught someone in their life doing something. Tell me more about this moon reverse. Yeah, the high priestess. Sorry, I hit the tripod. Very intuitive energy here. More Pisces. You could definitely be dealing with the Pisces and Aries. 
Um, well, I have a lot of signs here. I have fire, Leo, um, air, and Taurus as well. But anyways, that's not important. Um, here I have, I have two cards that talk about intuition and knowing. So I really get the sense that someone now knows that what they thought they knew was an illusion or what they th how they saw a situation was just an illusion. All that glitters is in gold is what I just heard. So someone now knows this. And they know it because I think they caught some someone do in an, doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Uh, they could have um, caught someone trying to avoid a situation, trying to sneak away to do something they shouldn't have. They caught someone lying, possibly here. And now this person, either the person that got caught has lost their power or is very upset at being caught or you, Virgo, or the person you're dealing with that caught this other person, you've realized you've lost control over the situation because now you don't know what to do. You have the knowledge of what went down, but it's like you're unsure how to handle the situation because the emperor reversed. They feel like they're powerless, like they have little control, like everything's a mess, like they can't stabilize something. They don't have the resources. They tend to also be very um, manipulative, um, controlling. And so I, I get the sense that someone here, if they were manipulative or controlling, they got caught and that illusion is shattered. Like they might have pretended they weren't that way, but they turned out to be that way. Um, but it could also be that whoever caught someone doing something wrong, they don't know how to handle it. Because now the situation is unstable with the Hierophant reverse down here. Very similar energies here with the Emperor and the Hierophant reverse. This is, this is something that's been like turned on its head. Um, what was stable and grounded at one point is no longer that way. This is also a broken contract, a broken commitment. This could have caused a broken commitment here. Yeah, and look at what's at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. So it's like someone is really overthinking or feeling stuck mentally with whatever they figured out here. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. This is somebody who um, missed the boat, uh, is no longer waiting for something, waited too long. Let's see. Tell me about this Three of Wands reverse, please, for Virgo. What's this about? could also symbolize someone that's impatient. Ten of Cups reversed. What else about this Three of Wands? Reverse. For Virgo, please. Page of Pentacles reversed. One more, please. This three of wands reverse. Spirit. Nine of wands reversed. Ten of pentacles at the bottom. So this is that family situation. I have two cards here that resemble family, typically also a family with children. Um, there's a possibility that either you, Virgo, or the person you're dealing with already has a family with children or has children. And I feel like the person that's in a family unit has realized that they they were investing in the wrong thing. Because what I'm see what I'm seeing here is Someone who's emotionally drained, who missed the boat on something that could have been stable. Instead, instead of this Ten of Pentacles, this person's caught in a Ten of Cups reversed. 
Page of Pentacles reverse tells me that there's financial struggles here or a lack of strong commitment. There's nothing that could really get off the ground that was stable enough here. And with the Nine of Wands reverse, it's like someone wants to give up, like someone doesn't want to keep trying anymore. They don't see the point. It's like they were waiting for this to improve and it never did. And so now they're exhausted because this situation has been draining throughout and all they can think about is stability somewhere else. And they're really overthinking this. You know, they want to communicate with an empress. Look at this. We got, we got eight of wands, empress, the world, and the ace of pentacles. A new beginning, a new opportunity with an empress. Not who they're with. This is somebody different. And notice that we have the emperor and the empress that have shown up here. Okay, so let's see. We have the five of pentacles here. This is, you know, usually symbolic of financial struggle. But for me as a reader in a love reading, I think of the five of pentacles as a lack of communication, a lack of warmth, emotional distance. Um, almost like uh, one person is really struggling in this connection or both are struggling being away from each other. That's how I read the Five of Pentacles as a reader. So let's see. What can you tell me for this Five of Pentacles? Here we go. What can you tell me, Spirit? Okay, we got the Lovers Reversed. Gemini Energy. So this, what this tells me is that someone made the wrong choice in the partner that they're with. And this is very clear to someone with the seven of cups reversed there's no confusion about this there's no doubt about where this person went wrong this person is now struggling with the fact that they messed up they are also possibly missing someone else feeling like they missed out on something that could have been warm and inviting Knight of Swords, yeah, and now it's like they want to move forward on something here. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This Knight of Swords card, um, it kind of looks like someone's literally running away. Look at this. You see you see him, how he's like running towards the, the bike there? I almost see also someone like running away. <laughs> So we have the Knight of Swords and I clarified it with the King of Wands reversed. So again, I'm getting that sense of someone who wants to run towards something but can't. They can't take action. King of Wands reversed. They they are, are for some reason, they either lack the confidence or are very upset about the situation they find themselves with. A Gemini could be involved here. They could also be dealing with a King of Wands reversed energy, whether male or female, who just wants to block them from leaving. Let's see what's at the bottom here. Queen of Swords reverse. Yikes. Yeah. So I feel like this might be a block here. If this is a family family unit, you or the person you're involved with, Virgo, if the, whoever's in a family unit with someone else. Um, I feel like there's going to be a block from a third party. It could be financial. Wow. Yeah, like they don't see eye to eye. And again with timing, temperance card back there. The couple that is in this um, emotionally draining situation they're not seeing eye to eye there might be a conflict because this queen of swords reverse they're not easy to deal with they twist the truth they're very cold the they don't care anymore essentially um, they've been hurt too many times or they're extremely hurt and they are lashing out same with this king of wands reverse they tend to have a short temper they tend to be very controlling bossy 
So, you know, I get in the sense that someone here wants to run away from this energy or is blocked from manifesting. Tell me about this Hierophant Reverse for Virgo. What's this Hierophant Reverse doing here? Taurus energy. Six of Wands, there's that victory card. recognition as well thank you there's temperance and look six of pentacles balance 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 someone's gonna have victory in balance and it's gonna start with a um it's almost like they're either gonna rebel against what's expected of them or they're gonna literally break a connection here or break a contract because they are thinking about making something right and balanced here. Look at what's at the bottom. Two of cups reversed. I'm telling you. Someone, whether it's you, Virgo, or the person you are dealing with, they want to break up or end the situation they're in because that's what's required to have balance. That's what they're focused on, is I don't want to be struggling anymore. I don't want to feel like I have no control over what happens in my life. I don't want to feel like I'm just a victim. I need to take control because I need to love myself first. And I don't think it's a coincidence that... that um, the romance angel started with chemistry because I feel like this person is able to break up this commitment because they already have their eye on someone else. They know they made a bad choice and that tells me that the right choice is somewhere else. And they know this. So I kind of want to see where this is headed. Um, What's the blockage here specifically? And what's next for this connection? I'm going to look at that in the extended. So if you would like to follow there, um, the link is in the description box. Um, completely optional. Otherwise, um, I'll leave this reading here, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this resonated with you, that you got something out of this reading. Let me know in the comments if it did. Um, check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. And uh, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you in another video. Take care.